Hi everyone, this is Money from Mun Mun Felt Art. Um, today's video is about framing your felt art. I'm just going to talk you through um, two simple ways that I do it. And certainly people who come to my workshops, they, they want to know what to do with their pictures afterwards. So what I would recommend, uh, the simple way to frame, is to get a box frame. Okay, so this one's from Hobbycraft. So they're deep set like this. All right. So easiest way to do it is to remove the back. And inside you'll find a piece of paper like this. Okay. Now I like to remove the glass from my frame. I just think it's far nicer to be able to see a piece of art inside and actually even to be able to touch it is quite nice. So I remove the glass, put this bit back in, now with the piece of paper that you'll find in these box frames, what I like to do is glue my piece of art onto that piece of paper. And I tend to use super glue for that. So just put a tiny bit of glue on each four corners. Be careful about using too much glue because you don't want it to come through your felt and onto your picture. Okay, four corners and I put a bit in the middle as well. Okay. Then just glue your picture straight on. Lightly press it down. And this is super glue, actually it'll set in no time at all. Okay. Then just put it into your frame. There you are. Okay, there's a little bit of a gap there, but that's fine. So that's a pretty simple way of, um, of framing your art. Now, obviously, this is square and this is a square frame. I do find that most of these box frames um, are square. And if you do a rectangular picture, what I would suggest is that you get a much larger square box frame and just kind of position it in the middle. Okay, so that is one method, um, but I want to talk you through this other method. Um, it's a bit more time consuming. You see this is rectangular and, and this is um, does look really nice in here. So what the way I've done this is, this is actually a canvas frame for art. And I got this and I thought, right, what would happen if I turned it the other way around and actually put my picture inside? So that's exactly what I've done. I've just glued it inside the canvas frame and then I painted all around the outside and added a hook. Okay, so yeah, a bit more time consuming, but I, I do think that looks rather beautiful. Um, so that's two simple ways that you can do this. Um, any questions, do message me. Um, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.